the um, the truth about Maddie is he's a f-ing gem. He's the greatest person you'll ever meet in your entire life. I love the guy, and today is his birthday. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. So great to have you here and see all of your smiling faces. Before we do anything, let's put two minutes on the clock and disregard it entirely. Today is an appreciation post for one of the greatest human beings I've ever had the privilege to call my friend, and that is Maddie Hapoya. I'd like to take this time to go over 10 things that you may not know about Maddie Hapoya. I've even wrote them down in a note. Still great. The first thing you should know about Maddie is he is invincible to the cold. Now he doesn't like the cold and he doesn't like the winter, but the guy can get in any degree of freezing cold water without issue as long as there is a sauna. That's the proper way to pronounce it. I would know because he taught me because he's Finnish and They created them. As long as there is one of those saunas available to warm up in after. Thing number two, Maddie is massively bothered by the high frequency pitch emitted from an LPE6 Canon charger. He can hear it from anywhere. There could be 15 people talking in a room. He'll hear the pitch like a dog in a whistle and he will hunt it down until he finds it and removes it from the wall in a fit of rage. Not really a fit of rage because I've never actually seen Maddie get mad at anything. Number three, unfortunately Maddie enjoys black licorice. Sour black licorice. I don't know if that's a finished thing. We've got lots of weird candies over there in Scandinavia, but he is nice enough to give you all the ones that don't taste like total garbage. Number four, Maddie's a very monochromatic guy. Black, white, grays only. You will never see him wearing anything else. Maybe the occasional earth tone, with the exception of the classic red puff, which I'm surprised he's still rocking. It's very unlike him. Black and white only, everything. Walls, decor, kitchenware, clothing, car. I'm surprised his videos aren't just black and white. Number five, one of the most obvious. Maddie's got the most beautiful hair you've ever seen. It always looks so good. Now he wears a hat most of the time, but if Maddie takes his hat off, it just falls down and it's so smooth and shiny and it looks fantastic. And he very graciously shared his last puck of paste, hair paste, with me during the pandemic when I wasn't able to get anything when I was still rocking short hair that he bought on eBay because he couldn't find his particular brand anywhere. I've got the last one. Thanks, Maddie. I might've used it twice. You can have it back. (laughs) That's gross, isn't it? Number six, Maddie loves to snack on an assortment of trail mix and fizzy water. That's his go-to. However, his weakness, his Achilles heel, chips. Maddie will destroy a bag of chips. Me too though, let's be honest. No problem, big bags. I gotta go family pack bags now because like the big bags aren't big enough. Number seven, Maddie loves artsy thought provoking films. Things that have great dialogue and dive deep into the character development and story arcs. Incredible filmmaking. Maddie loves that. You get on a plane with Maddie, he's watching The Shape of Water. I'm watching Dwayne Johnson. That's sad. So if Maddie ever recommends anything for you to watch online, just know it'll probably be very boring. Avengers. Number eight, Maddie is the cleanest, most minimalist, tidy person I've ever met, but equally the biggest slob I've ever met when it comes to his gear in his office. Garbage piled to the ceiling, stuff everywhere, nothing's charged. Sh- everywhere. You should see the bathroom in his office. It's a storage room with a toilet. (laughs) You ever notice too that toilet's like a foot off the ground? Six four? Dude, my knees are like, I'm like, it'd like lick my kneecap when I'm on that toilet. (laughs) Number nine, Maddie is always the best dressed. No matter the occasion, no matter where you are, no matter who you're with, Maddie wins. You could be in a helicopter. You could be standing on the peak of a mountaintop. You could be at a gala event. You could be at his home. He could be at your office. He'll always look better than you. Always. Thing number 10, the thing Maddie appreciates most is his time. 
time with his friends, his family, his loved ones, above everything else that he does and all the things that he's into and enjoys, time is what's most important to Maddie. It's a quality that I've always appreciated about him and I've always admired and looked up to. That brings us to the end of our list and a little birthday gift that I think we can all summon and do for Maddie today. Maddie's at, what's Maddie at? 980, see that 987,000 subscribers. That is ridiculous. 13,000 away from a million? Imagine he hit that on his birthday. The gift that we could all give this guy. He's taught me so much about filmmaking. I have my own lineup of ND filters. Maddie was the first person that actually showed me how to use an ND filter. I've learned a ton from this guy. You can learn a ton from him, both in filmmaking and how to balance life, have fun, make great art. He's an amazing creator. I'd love to see him get to a million at any point, but today would be extra special. Even if you need to unsubscribe from me to make room for him, do it. But only 13,000 of you, not a single one more. <laughs> but give the guy a follow. He's an incredible human being. I am blessed to be able to call a friend and share this journey with. So Maddie, love you, buddy. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. A million, I can feel it. Let's go. Did we nail the timer? <laughs> Timers.